Hey everyone, welcome to DKFC. We're talking Euros 2016. Oh my gosh, what an exciting tournament we've got going on so far. Even more exciting, the gentlemen who are joining me, Andy Davies, Tyrone At Atkins, and back from his research on infectious diseases, <laughs> Jamie Hinks. <laughs> You're looking like a shadow of your former shadow. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go through all the picks, uh, give you the advice that you need to help make your best Euros picks for the 2016 Euros, because there's been a lot of surprises, a lot of upsets, and a lot of things that we just didn't predict, and that's what we're here to predict. We're going to start with a game that uh, makes Mother Russia happy. Uh, their former children are fighting. That's right, Ukraine versus Poland. Um, Poland um, have been playing okay. Ukraine... Don't let the door hit you on the, on the way out, because <laughs> you're gone. Uh, Jamie, have you been watching these games? Mm -hmm. What I do you think of do anything else? Probably what do you, the same just way. sitting on the toilet, Sit, just crying yeah, to yourself? And, and Just eating really bland food. Uh, yeah. So you've really been having a great Euros experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Ukraine, um, embarrassing, pretty much, for them. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, I think they're the worst team in the tournament so far. I they are, actually. They are the, the worst defense. And yeah. uh, I think just from watching, I watched them twice, and I've just not been impressed. I think to lose 2-0 to Northern Ireland, who don't, you, don't really look like scoring or doing anything going forwards, is just really disappointing. If you consider some of the attacking options they've got, like Konoplyanka, Yarmolenko, and even the back four has been together for they've played together for a while. And the keeper, they play Champions League football all the time. They just the manager doesn't seem to be able to get anything out of them. Um, Poland, on the other hand, has been really impressive. I think um, nice draw with Germany. Really, yeah, I thought they were really unlucky in that game. I thought they should have won it. Yeah. Um, if Milik had converted a couple of those chances, I think they would have won it. Um, but Lewandowski has just been so poor. Well, they're also putting, is the weight of the team on him? Is that the thing? What it is? Is it just too much pressure on Lewandowski to? I think he, I think he thinks that. I don't think the weight of the team is on him because they've got other players that can contribute, but. I think he thinks it's got to be, it's not an ego thing, I just think he thinks that he needs to be the guy, and he doesn't, there's other players in the team, but they seem to be getting by fine, I think they'll win this one quite easily, probably 2-0. All right, Tyrone, <clears throat> Ukraine, all over. Oh god, yeah. Oh yeah. You can't lose to Northern Ireland and in any way deserve to remain in an international tournament of this, uh, this worth. No, they're a bit appalling, it's time for them to go, they will be going. Uh, their final swan song is here against Poland. Do, yeah, I agree, Jamie. I think Poland have been very, very good. Um, Poland will win. They'll win 2 0. But I, I think this is, a, this is a, yeah, the Phoenix from the Flames. I think Lewandowski will, will get his campaign off and running in this game. And he should do because Ukraine are poor. Let's not forget, they let Northern Ireland score twice against them. And again, just, <laughs> Jamie, you nailed it. Northern Ireland is a team that never looks like scoring. They just, they're just well organised and they grind things out. But they won at a canter by the end of that match. Ukraine are terrible. Uh, Pono will win. I think their talisman, Lewandowski, he will get at least one goal here. And uh, that's that. They'll move on to the second round. And I wouldn't want to play him just yet, actually. Pono looking very, very good. Andy, what do you think? Uh, I think it's a rousing sort of celebration that Poland will win this one. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Um, Ukraine disappointed me because they, they came into the tournament with a very settled side and, a very, and, and seemed very organised. And they've been really consistent in, in, uh, in, in the run-up to it as well. So I was expecting a lot more from Ukraine. I didn't tout them for the tournament, but I, I sort of touted that they might get through uh, the group stages um, in our first Euro show. So how wrong was I? But uh, I'm definitely tagging Lewandowski for this. He hasn't scored in two games, and this is... Ukraine are demoralised. This should be a gimme. A yeah. gimme? What do you reckon? A gimme. A gimme for Robert Lewandowski. If he doesn't score in this game, uh, he, just drop him. Just get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> done. He's done no points for Andy, so just get rid of him. He's get rid of him. Bye-bye <laughs> of the tournament. Well, you've heard it here from everyone. Uh, we all believe that, uh, that Poland is going to beat Ukraine. Ukraine has had a tough tournament so far. It's not going to get any easier. How do you play? You go to DraftKings.co.uk. You can put together your own eight-man roster. You have a $50,000 budget. You can win big during the Euros. We're doing the Euros every day. Welcome to the big time.